visit Pokemon card market and buy Pokemon cards from base set up to latest evolution set with best prices, secured system and easy handling. Only for European players. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at deck for the standard format and uh, this deck actually features and Mega Break and the Zorark. So the first thing you should probably notice about this deck that this is a Nani X deck. It's non, it's not expensive, and it can attack without energies or with just a single double chorus energy for tons of damage. Uh, with the Zorark Mind Jack, we can strike in theory from 10 plus 30, which can be 10 just for the non uh, of our opponent Pokémons on the bench, or up to uh, 160 for five Pokémons, or up to um, 240, actually 50 with 8 Pokemons on our opponent bench. So um, Zoro can actually be a heavy attacker here, where Yanmega and Yanmega Break are just gonna be um, our main attackers with uh, zero energy cost and uh, with that Zonic, Zonic equation. So ability says that if you have exactly 4 cards in your hand, you can ignore all energy attached cost of each of these Pokemon's attacks. Also same thing will apply to Yanmega Break. And the good thing about this is that Assault Beam can actually strike for 50 or 120, depend of if our opponent has actually uh, any... If, if our opponent have any of his tools attached in the active Pokémon, that, that we can strike for 120. So with the Omega, we can go with Barrier Break for 100, and we don't need to worry about any, um, any effect, weakness, resistance, or any other effect of our opponent active Pokémon, because if... If Glacian strikes us with the Crystal Ray, we could just go uh, through that with uh, Barrier Break. So it's just damn, damn good. On the other side, uh, two Clef Keys will help us uh, to protect um, our active attacker against those Mega Evolutions. And on the other side, Remoraid and Mactillary Line will help us with the Beazle Hand and Job Cards that we have five in our hand. And that's pretty much it. So 19 Pokemon 37 Trainer Cards, 4 Energies. 60 cards in total, which is a normal amount of the cards in the Pokemon Trading Card Game, just in case you're new to the Pokemon Trading Card Game. So, uh, from the item cards, I'm running two copies of Captivating Pokepuff, because this is damn good for the Zorark. So, Zorark featuring Captivating Pokepuff can actually help us to reveal our opponent hand and put any number of ba basic bench Pokemon, uh, basic uh, Pokemons on our opponent bench. So, in theory, we can just increase uh, Mind Jack attack with a single Captivating Pokepuff. Uh, two copies of Level Ball um, can help us to search our deck for any 90 or under HP Pokémon, which means that we can grab Zorua, Klefki, uh, Yenma, Remrite, and Octillery. I really like it because I can easily set up my Octillery, which is the most important thing uh, for this. Uh, four pieces of puzzles, um, so I can play two of them at the same time and take any two cards from my disco pile and bring them back into my hand, so this is definitely good. On the other side, two Revital Lasers will give me the opportunity to take two Grass Pokémon from my disco pile and put them into my hand, which means that I can repeat over and over time um, my Omega and the Omega Break, and I can just have my Yen Mine play with Force of the John Plant, and I can just easily put the Omega and the Omega Break and be ready to attack again. Uh, with uh, without energies. Uh, one Super Road is here just because of Zoroark and Klefki. That's it. Klefki is a very important card and it can help us a lot. And Zoroark is um, also a very good card because with the Mind Jack it can strike for so many damage counters. And that's just way too good. Um, three copies of Trainer's Mails to be actually um, consistent so we can find any kind of supporter card or Ultra Ball or anything that we might need in that situation. Uh, four copies of Ultra Ball, of course, to be able to search our deck for Zorark and the Omega and the Omega Break. In addition to that, four VE Seekers, of course, if we want to also have competitive deck. Um, so from supporter cards, a um, lot of different supporter cards, actually, actual, actually six different supporter cards. Uh, the first one is Giovanni Skin. So Giovanni Skin can help us to add 20 more damage counters to our active Pokémon attack, so that means that with 5 Pokemons in play we can go uh, with Mind Jack for 180. Um, or, uh, for example, if our opponent does not have Tool, we can go with the Barrier Break for 100 plus 20, so that would be 120. Uh, two copies of Judge, just in case one is prized, we can actually have Judge for that Sonic Vision, so we can attack for free. One Lysander, of course, we need to have one Lysander at least. Two copies of N, of course, just in case one is prized, we want to have another one just to be able not to deck out ourselves. 
um, four Professor Sycamores for the best consistency we can get, and then one copy of Teammates, because when our Pokémon is knocked out during opponent last turn, we can search our deck for any two cards and put it into our hand without showing them to our opponent. For example, we can grab any two cards. Let's say we grab any two, uh, we grab two piece of puzzles with two copies of piece of puzzles. We can take any two cards from our public zone or actually a disco pot. So that's just ridiculous. Um, four copies of Forest of the Giant Plant, of course, to be able to evolve my Yanma, Yamega, and Yamega Break turn one, and four double chorus energies to power up Zorark, but even uh, in case um, to power up your Mega, in case of those uh, Hex Maniacs, but of course against Hex Maniac we can just easily retreat because we have free retreat and we can attack with our Zorak Mind Check, but that all depends on how many damage counters we can output with the Zorak if our opponent bench space is not huge. Alright, so time for some action. Um, lost the coin flip, so... I don't like when I lost the coin flip, I like to go first, um, especially with a deck that actually need um, to set up. So my opening hand looks very, very, very um, impressive. Um, there is force of the giant plant, but I see a Rittos on my opponent's side, so um, that can also be... Okay, two mulligans for me. This is promising. Um, Third one, force of the giant plant into your mega uh, Ultra Ball to discard my teammates in Disco Pile. This is just... Um, it's very important because later, after I get knockout, 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 I can just easily uh, be sick for teammates and take any two cards that I need um, in that situation. So, um, two Yam Yamas for me and one Azorua here, which is good. So, oh, okay, he started with um, Barvirizion uh, in the active position. And there's Hoopa with a Scandering for the bench. Um, I kind of like Virizion for that bailout because it could put two uh, Pokemon from a Disco Pile back into your hand. But Price Count is actually a decent attack. For two energies, if you have more Price cards left than your opponent, you can go for 120. So it's it's not that bad attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, Skeptile EX. This is going to be a nightmare. Definitely a nightmare. A big nightmare here, but okay. Okay, it's how it is. Um, one Ultra Ball for, um, I guess, teammates and another Ultra Ball. I'm searching for a Remorite Octillery line because I will need my Octillery uh, later. More than that, one Sycamore for seven. I need to have four cards in my hand in order to even be able to attack. Well, there's a double course energy, um, there is level ball, which will give me the opportunity to take something like a Clevki, put it onto my bench, it's going to be very important to have Clevki in play. One copy of piece of puzzle, if I want to do some damage here, and the question is, do I really even want to do some damage to my opponent Verizion here, and waste my piece of puzzle, I think I will just say, um, I'm okay, I'm okay, I don't want to do that, um, simply because discarding two puzzle of times without even playing them, it's just not good, so I can just play my N on the next turn and be prepared for the worst, and we all know what the worst is gonna be. So one N, which means that I will have six cards right now in my hand, but with you know, Mega Break and Clef Key, I can go for 100, so that's that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, so I'm on fire, um, Barrier Break, 400. He actually avoids situation here with that um, um, Spirit Link, because without Spirit Link, um, I can go for 100 with Spirit Link for 120. Very important. Very, very important. Um, still, he don't have Arietos. There's one Ultra Ball for two Grass Energies. And let's take a look what my opponent will take. Another Mega Skeptile. Okay, when he actually managed to put Chains of the Mega Skeptiles, he's definitely going to be in good position. Right now would be perfect to get something like... Uh, okay, I'm just Wanderlock. Now I got my opponent and prevent him from being able to do some damage to me, and of course, I'm going to play Judge. 
because I need to have four cards in my hand and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm fine with it. So, um, one a barrier break. We'll do the job. We'll do the job. 100 damage again. I do have Klefki here. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to worry too much. There's another judge for the next turn. As long as I can prevent him from dealing any damage to my um, yeah, mega break, I'm done. Okay, so trainer's mail. I really need to hit my Lysander so badly because um, it's very important to find that Lysander and be able to uh, put his Mega Skeptal without energies in the active position and deal some damage onto it. So, Jagged Saber, 100. You might attach up to 2 Grass Energy card from your hand to your Banjit Pokemon anyway, like if you do, um, just heal the all damage counters on that Pokemon. Very, very powerful attack. You would not believe how powerful this really is. Um, I'm wondering if I want to play Ultra Ball and discard my V Seeker for Artillery. I somehow think this is not a good option, so I will just uh, judge for a new four cards. Well, good. There's a Lysander and Captivating Pokepuff. Somehow I'm just thinking about a Barrier Break for 100. Next turn I'm going to play Lysander and Captivating Pokepuff. Or just a Lysander. I don't need to rush. I mean, I know that if I decide to attack his Mega Skeptal for 100, that he will probably just retreat him and attack with another one and attach energy to it. So he just decided to pass us his turn. So right now I see my opportunity here to actually Lysander this Mega Skeptal because he's with one energy card and basically put my Klefki Wanderlock on my Mega Break. And I can go for Barrier Break. 100 damage. Unfortunately, short for 20. Ugh. Yeah, just that. Ugh. Okay, never mind. Giovanni's scheme will be great for the next turn to surprise him. Um, there's a Trainer's Mail for M. Still, I'm fighting just with a single and Mega Break. And there we go with the M. Okay. So, as long as I, as long as I have Klefki, I'm fine. So, I will definitely need... Um, another Klefki. I have Judge for next turn, which is a V Seeker. There's a Spirit Link. <laughs> I'm actually on I hope I X. Kind of interesting. As long as he misses opportunity to get energy card and uh, be able to retreat or attack, I'm fine. But still, um, not good enough. Um, there's one Shame in X. Okay. Um, I see my opportunity with Zorark, definitely, because with the Zorark, I can strike for Mindjack um, 36900. Well, again, for 100. I need one more Pokemon on his bench. Well, that's why I have Captivating Pokebuff, guys, to fix that. His hand is huge. He has six cards in his hand. Um, there's one Grass Energy, which is a good deal. He can retreat, of course. Um, strike for 100 if he wants. Uh, actually for 0 because of the clef key. Uh, he just passes his turn. Alright, that captivating pocket puff is gonna be very important here. Okay, at least... At least... Hmm... Zerua. And... V Seeker. For Sycamore, definitely. I need a Zorark at least, or four cards in my hand. Okay, I will have a Zorark, that's for sure, but let's just see uh, what can I find with my trainer's mail. Maybe another, <laughs> just a captivating pocket puff. I don't want to take that right now in my hand, um, so. Yeah, I will take Octillery. And basically, with artillery, I can have a Beazle Hand, but uh, I can still have Ultra Ball for that special charge and Light and Sycamore. I wish he actually had. I wish he had one Pokemon in his hand so I could just knock out with a single shot his um, Skeptile, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. I can also a Beazle hand for tree. I know that he don't have energies in his hand, so at least that's something. 
Uh, not even um, tool attached on the Mega Skeptile, so this actually helps him a lot. So one barrier break for 100. If I go with my Zorark and uh, attack him for 100, he can just knock me out with the Jagged Saber. As you can see, 10 plus 30, he have only 3 Pokemon on the bench. So there's one Steven, which means that he can search his deck for a supporter card and a basic energy. Uh, this will help him to retreat, strike for 100, and heal damage from this active uh, Mega Skeptile, which means that I'm preparing my Lysander and I'm knocking out his Hoopa for two prize cards because I actually need to take advantage here and uh, some prize cards. On the other side, that's just gonna be pretty much it. I don't mind too much about those uh, Skeptiles, I guess. Or maybe I should worry about them. But so far, to be seekers. Okay, I can still strike Captivating Pokepuff, so maybe even N wouldn't be that bad option, actually. Let's just attach DC onto my artillery, so I can have a free retreat with him in case of the Lysander and pass. 1 N, 1 Captivating Pokepuff. So, another chance for success. Too many energies, there's also Mega Turbo. Oh my, I, I don't like that. I don't like that because he can heal right now, damage from the Hoopa. I shouldn't do that. But never mind. Um, I should just go straight away for the knockout against uh, Hoopa on the bench. Yeah, Mega Skeptile is the worst matchup, I guess, for this deck. Um, Jagged Saber will be enough for the knockout, but again, if he wants to retreat, he needs to pay two energy cards. Um, he can probably run up the resources from time to time, just retreating between one Mega Capital to another one. So probably at some point of the game, I will catch his um, Mega Capital unprepared. But so far, I just did. Very bad mistake. I should just go with the Lysander and knock out his Hoopa. That's for sure. But actually, right now, I'm going to do that. Um, there's a Ninja Boy. Okay, so probably Shane will be replaced with another Skeptile EX. Oh, actually, with the Bunnelby. Yeah, even Bunnelby is not that bad. Um, Jagged Saber. Okay, I lost my Zorark. And I kind of regret about that. But it is how it is. I mean, I did a mistake and uh, I just need to take two prize cards right now. Right now is the time to knock out that Hoopa before he actually uh, even managed to. One, two, three, four, five. Before he even decide and manage somehow to heal that damage from the Hoopa, this would be just devastating. Of course I need to attach my double chorus energy, unfortunately. Um, okay, so barrier break for the knockout. I need my Klepkis, and actually I will get those Klepkis later. There is one a piece of puzzle, which is very important right now, because I need another captivating Pokepuff and I need it badly because I just want to put my opponent one more Pokemon on the bench like a Shaman EX so I can knock him out. There's energy retrieval. Not sure what he will go with uh, oh Artillier. He wants to put some cards back. Energy retrieval and what else he will just put back into his deck. This this turn actually gave me the opportunity to take advantage to energy retrievals he wants to bring back. Okay, there are two pieces of puzzles. Hmm. I have a couple options. With two pieces of puzzles, I can bring back Captivating Pokepuff and uh, another Captivating Pokepuff. Pretty much. So, um... Two piece of puzzles. Or I will just bring 
captivating Pokepuff and uh, one more piece of puzzle. I think this is a much better option. Then I'm playing my V Seeker 4N. Okay, I'm getting five cards here. Yes, I'm going. I'm getting down to three, but I have Octillery. Perfect. Two piece of puzzles. Just what I was hoping to get. A Beazle Hand for two. I need just one card like a Zorark. Uh, even Trainer's Mail is not bad. So one Trainer's Mail can be played for nothing. Just for four cards in my hand, so I can strike with my Barrier Break. And the most important thing right now is that I can play two pieces of puzzles if I want. But I just think right now is not the best time for do that, so I will just barrier strike. Barrier break actually for 100. And put one card in my hand, which is another yeah, mega break. So I have two pieces of puzzles, which means that I can next turn grab Zorark and uh, I can grab Lysander. But I need that captivating Pokepuff to be um, for like. Tons of Pokemons on my opponent bench. There's a teammate. So I need Shaming. I need four Pokemons on his bench. And I don't know if this if that's gonna be possible. I simply don't know. I don't know if he even have Pokemon in his um, hand. But of course. But of course I'm on oh there's Ultra Ball. Oh no, he had Jirachi and Shaman in his hand. Oh, you gotta be kidding me about this. <sighs> if I just played two pieces of puzzles for captivating a Zorark and... Oh, why I didn't do that? Why I simply just didn't do that? Right now it's too late. Simply it is. So I will just throw out with my Ultra Ball these two cards and I'm ready to take another um, Yanma and put it into my uh, hand. So I can Abyssal Hand for two. I just need to prepare another Yanmega, that's it. And of course I didn't get it. This hurts me a lot. Okay, so um, puzzle of time. Put any two cards. Clef key. Clef key. Both clef keys. My only way, I guess. Even Lysander is something that I need. But I'm going with my clef keys. He's down to four, so who knows what he has in his hand. So clef key, a wonder lock, onto my omega break, and uh, just just barrier break for hundred. I'm short for that twenty damage. I'm I, I'm short for that shaming and jirachi. Oh my gosh! If I just play that puzzle of time. And took from my disc pile, captivating Pokepuff and play that. That would be so amazing. Um, let's just give him Yanma. He can have it. But he can just heal damage off. That's the, my biggest concern. Still, I will have a couple more turns. I could actually give him. Um, my Omega Break, then I would have. Okay, never mind. My turn top deck is another um, Yanmega, Yanma. So, Clef Key and playing that Wonder Lock. I should want uh, I should play one Beazle hand and put down my uh, Yamma on the bench. 
There we go. And I'm going to strike for 100 my barrier break. Still, I'm short for too much. But maybe, maybe somehow a miracle happens. Okay, so waiting. Waiting to see next move from my opponent. However, this turn he's not going to be able to attack because Wanderlaw can actually prevent any damage done to uh, my Mega Break in active position from uh, Mega Skeptel. But that's that's just pretty much it. So I still need. Oh, I, I wish there, I wish there's a shaming on his bench. Another escape rope. Another escape rope, um, this time for definitely a Mega Break. Two escape ropes. Great. And huge energy retrieval. That energy retrieval is going to help him to heal the damage from the bench in one. Okay, so... Um, time for my Yanma. Time for my top deck which is Revital Laser, so Yan Mega and Yan Mega Break. I can evolve, which is always nice. Um, more than that, I can put that Yan on my bench, I guess. So, Bezel Hand for one. No, I can't do that. Can't do that. I can first use my Revital Laser, then put my Yanma and uh, and Mega Break. This is going to be five cards. This is going to be five cards. Okay. Again, four. <clears throat> and again, I'm short for 20. I'm short for 20 damage. You can't do that to me. Short for damn 20 damage counters. God damn. Of course, there's a retreat and uh, another energy retrieval, but uh, uh, probably things would be different if I play that captivating Pokepuff. Well, there's Enhanced Hammer, uh, probably on my Zorua. That's just because um, he evolved without Spiritlings. And uh, evolving without Spiritlings actually helped him um, so much that actually puts me in a huge disadvantage. I can't, uh, I, I simply can't um, draw a card with my artillery because I can't get nothing that I can use. So I will just strike for 100, let him take one prize. And uh, there's a Sycamore for 7 from my opponent. Okay, this game is still not over, but I simply wish I simply wish that, he, that one of his Megas Capitals actually had that Spirit Link attached, because the game would probably just be um, way much different than it is right now. So, I don't have unfortunately even N left, so I can't even play my N. Just another Mega Break. I can go probably until tomorrow with my uh, Yan Megas Break. Another Barrier Break for another 100 damage. His hand is way too big. He had like 8 cards right now at the beginning of his turn in his hand. And I'm not going to be able to knock him out. So, yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just it. Short for 20, unfortunately, again. Lysander on my Yan Mega on the bench with 100 damage counters, so Jagged Saber for the knockout. And right now he can put one energy from his hand on the, yeah, on the Mega Skeptile down to the bench and heal that damage off. So, yeah, simply... Where's the Captivating Pokepuff? There it is. Okay, one Verizion, but that's just it. That's just it. Barrier Break. For 100. I was that close, that close um, to get victory here, but unfortunately.
unfortunately, that 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 trainer's uh, that uh, piece of puzzle for captivating Pokepuff actually cost me too much. And there's a Lysander, of course, uh, for the last prize against my artillery for 200. And unfortunately, the game is over, guys. But it was definitely a very exciting game to watch. Um, the deck actually has a lot of potential, and I actually show you the deck um, against the biggest threat for it. The biggest threat, which is actually uh, Mega's Capital, but uh, I was very close for the victory. Unfortunately, that um, bad decision uh, when I didn't use um, two pieces of puzzles to take actually Zorark and uh, Captivating Pokepuff and play it. If I was able to do that against his Shaminiax and uh, Jirachi. I mean, he would still have like uh, three Pokemon on the bench, and that, that, that would still be um, not enough for the knockout. But as I mentioned one, uh, once again, uh, he just simply didn't put uh, any of his Spirit Links. If he had any, any of Spirit Link, then I would be able to knock out one of his Mega Skeptiles just with my Assault Beam 120, 120, and that would be it because of the Tool Card. Uh, but even with my Zora, he didn't have like. Three Pokemons maximum uh, in place, so Zorak was not capable to strike with the Mind Jack for more than 100. But overall, this deck has a lot of potential. I definitely recommend you if you're new to the game and you and if you just don't have too much money to spend um, on your deck, you should definitely try something like this. Because um, the first thing, it's Nani X deck, which is great always. The second thing is that uh, it has capability to strike without energy cards for 120. Um, it can also survive a very uh, huge amount of damage, for example 140, and it can also strike with one double course energy with the Zorark for tons of damage, depend on how many Pokemons your opponent have in play. If you have five, you can go for 160 with Mind Jack, but even more if he has uh, Skyfall in play, because those captivating Pokepuffs can just increase the damage you can done with your Zorark. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button or dislike button if you didn't like it. Um, so, um, till the next time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as usual. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave the comments below. Have a nice day, whatever you are, and see you in the next videos.